There is a sigh of relief for fuel consumers for the next three months as price of petrol has now decreased by $1.20 and diesel by 30 cents only due to the under-recovery. Mines and Energy Minister Tom Aluendo says the slight recovery of 31 cents potentially contributed to the fuel price decrease. Aluendo says should the international crude price continue to decline, it will make it possible to review and reinstate the identified levies. But what happens after the next three months? We hope that the, the demand supply of the oil will stabilize a little bit and therefore we continue to see that decrease in the crude oil such that then uh, we should be able to reinstate some of the levies that uh, these companies really need for them to be able to, con to continue to exist uh, as an institution that are also equally important because if we do not have the RFA with the capability to maintain the roads, obviously we will be the first one to complain to say the roads are badly maintained. Uh, we also have got benefits that we get from the MBA in terms of the accidents and therefore they need to have those revenues to be able to also to carry out their mandate. Aluendo also gave clarity on why Namibia cannot import oil from Angola and why Angola is able to sell their oil at a cheaper price. It's because they have got crude, which they sell. They don't refine the salt. They only refine 20% of that, of that. They sell it out there, and therefore with that revenue, they are able then to subsidize the price of refined product when it lands in the country. Now, if you are Angola and Namibia comes to you and says, oh, I want to buy petrol from you as a country, why would I sell it to you at the price I'm selling to my citizens at the subsidized price. I'll probably say, well, this is what I bought it, and therefore I'll put my margin on that price, and that's what I'm going to sell it to you. Siamantikwa, NBC News, Ventuk.